Welcome to Hand Tool Reviews. Today we'll be reviewing the Philo 53439 14-piece interchangeable insulated screwdriver set. This particular set comes in a plastic case or a plastic box. This is uh, made by Philo. It is made in Germany. Parts are covered under their 15-year uh, limited warranty. Get any anything warranted? Please contact Bonhaus if you're in North America or otherwise contact Philo directly if, if you're in, say, Europe. And let's take a look and I'll show you the box that it comes with. It's a relatively big uh, box compared to my wear interchangeable sets. As you can see, it comes in this kind of a like a big plastic case or box. It also has these kind of pads on top where if you want to, you could stack more of these kind of cases on top. And let me flip it over. And you'll see it also has these kind of pads as well if you want to stack them. And I guess it's also to prevent it from slipping or from moving if you have it on, say, some kind of a slippery surface. Now, the way you would open it up is it goes with the logo on top. So all you have to do is just, this is in the closed position. So as you, you can see, it's in the closed position. If you want to move it to the unlock position, all you have to do is just simply slide it over. And we'll go ahead and unlock it and show you what it comes with. It's a 14-piece interchangeable screwdriver set. So comes with a T20, Torx 20, T15, T10, comes with a square 2, Phillips 2, Phillips 1, comes with also these slotted screwdrivers as well, comes with a 2.5, comes with a 3.0, 3.5, 4.0, 5.5, and 6.5, and it also comes with a precision screwdriver cap, I'll show you later what that's used for and it comes with the actual handle so this is a 14 piece set there's actually 12 screwdrivers and the 14 pieces are counting the precision screwdriver cap and the actual handle so as you can see if i shake it nothing will come out their parts are secured very nicely this is so the actual the actual case is plastic and these they do have some kind of hard plastic insert if i were to take them out show you it's some kind of hard plastic insert where it sits so compared to their other uh, sets this is very like hard or rigid plastic one other thing i want to also show you is that the slotted screwdrivers you'll see according to the profile they're done more to a hollow ground rather than a taper design or at least more in a hybrid a taper design will be more coming down this way coming down that way you can see this is more of a hollow ground design and you can see this more often on electrical screwdrivers or insulated screwdrivers that is done more to a hollow ground design hollow ground design that ha has less of a chance of coming out something you also notice is they all have a day code as well this one was made in the year 2020 let me put this back and i'll show you so as I mentioned, there's three Torx tips in here. There's one square or Robertson. This is a square number two, which is a very common size. I actually like that they do include a square. The tips are very easy to get out and you can see they're insulated, but they're not the slimline insulated versions. These are rated for a thousand volts. They are VDE, GS, and also IEC rated. So you can see it's IEC 60900. It's a thousand volts VDE. And there's a GS rating as well. And they all have similar kind of uh, insulation. So it's not slim. It does add a few millimeters on top. Even the square tips are done very, very nicely. You can see there's sort of a if I can hold it up to the camera, you can see there's sort of like a point almost. The way it's done, there, there's a point. So tips are done very nicely. I do like that it includes a, a square screwdriver handle. Why I really like this set. So I'll, what I'll do is I'll take, say, the Phillips number one. And I'll show you how you can adapt the handle to it. The handle itself 
This is about 32 millimeters. It does feel nice in, in the hand. It's sort of like a hybrid between their Ergonic series and maybe their, their new number nine insulated series. And they even show that in their marketing documentation that this set is supposed to re reduce you from taking a whole bunch of screwdrivers to a job site because as, as we all know, that many screwdrivers in say your tool bag or tool backpack will take up a lot of space. I mean, this case it is. It's a bigger case than than most, but it's a lot less space taken up than if you had, say, 12 individual screwdrivers. The average lengths or average sizes on these, these appear to be about, uh, if we take a look at the, the Phillips number two, it's about four inches, four inches blade length. And on the Phillips number two, if we take a look, you'll see the insulation adds about I'd say it adds about maybe two millimeters or so. So really it's about eight millimeters diameter up until here where it's about six millimeters. This becomes about six millimeters and then when it enters insulation or the shaft, it becomes about eight millimeters. Shouldn't really cause too many issues with clearance, but there may be situations where you do need six millimeters to be extended a little bit further. Philo does sell uh, uh, similar sets of the eSmart uh, lineup in the slim version however i haven't seen it for actual for sale they i have seen in their catalog i couldn't find any place where you can actually order it but i haven't been looking hard enough so let me show you how you can actually insert it so the way to insert this is you just simply go ahead push it in and it locks it into place there's a little bit of play or a little bit of wobble but it's not a big issue and i mean it's supposed to be that way because it's an interchangeable set so does feel very nice in the, in the hand. Uh, if you're thinking that you might accidentally push this button, I doubt I doubt it will really be an issue because even if you do push the button, it's still in place. It doesn't eject it out. I mean, it's still going to be in place. It just pops out a little bit. It's not going to fall out or you're not going to lose it. So even if it's like this, you'll see it's still held in there. One other thing you also notice is there's a there's a hole here as well so if you want to use it as a t-handle simply put the screwdriver in and you can use it as a t-handle and that'll work that way another thing i want to mention about this particular set is what you can do with this set is it's simple to take it out all you have to do is just push this button it'll eject it partially once you have ejected it partially all you have to do is just pull it out the rest of the way and it comes out. You can store it this way. Now, if you want to convert this, say, to a precision screwdriver, you can. There's an option for that. All you have to do is take out the cap, just slide it on, and it becomes a precision screwdriver, which is very unique. I have not seen any kind of other manufacturers try this kind of attempt. It works decently. I mean, for, at least for my hand, I can, I can get a good amount of spin or i can get a good amount of maybe say torque and this part right here kind of rubber or at least a soft kind of plastic it's it's very grippy so you do have a very good grip now in terms of torque when you use a precision screwdriver i don't think you'll have as much torque as you would with say using it with this kind of a handle so this kind of a handle will, will afford you a lot more torque and i want to show you the tips themselves are also, they're a black oxide finish or black oxide tip. So you can see that. And I don't believe they are magnetic. So if I tap any of the other tips, they are not magnetic. Yeah. So it's not magnetic by default. I do really like that ability to convert to precision screwdriver because there are going to be instances where you might need to be able to use a lot of torque with a Phillips one, or there might be instances where you need to simply convert this Phillips number one to like a precision screwdriver if you're working with say maybe electronics or computer work, and then you can just simply use it that way and that'll work very, very well. Or you can just use it with the regular handle. You can just convert it this way. And you'll have more torque and control over it. This handle for the Phillips number one, it appears to be about three inches, maybe a little bit longer. So it's not quite the full four inches like the, the Phillips number two. You can see that when I hold it up in comparison. 
So the Phillips number two is about four inches. Phillips number three is about three inches or so. It's a very nice set overall. Prices on these can vary. I have seen them pop up on Amazon warehouse deals and I have seen them pop up for deals and discounts. I mean, this they're all made very nicely. I really do like interchangeable screwdriver sets, especially insulated ones, especially the, the feeling one. It's very versatile. The handle is, is thick. So this is about 32 millimeters at its widest point there or thickest point. That's that gives you a good amount of torque. I do like the variety for slotted screwdrivers. So you'll see if I pick up any any one of them, they're all done to a similar kind of hollow ground design or at least a hybrid hollow ground design. It's not a straight taper. So they're all done to a similar kind of hollow ground design, which is really nice. It means there's less chance of actually damaging the fastener and there's less chance of, of actually coming out. Now, if you want to magnetize these tips, what you'd have to do is you'd have to grab a magnetizer and just rub rub each tip and then use a magnetizer that way because they are not uh, magnetic by default. One other thing I want to mention in terms of finding the replacement blades or actual or additional blades, I'm not sure about that. You might have to maybe contact Filo or Bonhaus. They could probably warranty or they could probably send you out extra blades at extra cost or extra charge. The blades don't seem to be as easy to find. Now, in terms of pros and cons for this set, overall, very good set. It can be a bit expensive. That's why I would suggest if you can find it on, say, an Amazon warehouse deal or if you can find it on sale or anywhere else at a discount, I would definitely recommend it at the regular price. It's much harder to recommend, but seeing how the price of this versus, say, a fixed blade screwdriver set is almost about the same. I'd go over, I'd go with this over a fixed blade screwdriver set. It's much more versatile, much easier to carry, much much less space taken up as well. And the box itself, it's 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 pretty sturdy. And there's no real chance of the actual the blades or anything falling out if I do a shake test. So nothing's gonna fall out. They're held in here very nicely. I mean, they're all individually rated for a thousand volts. They they are VDE rated, and you'll see that, for example, even the screwdriver handle says VDE, and it even has the IEC as well, standardization. So they're all individually tested. They're all individually rated for a 1,000 volts. The tips are all black oxide, which is very good. Black oxide, what that allows you to do is get a more precise fit or at least more precise uh, fit and finish. And when you're using on the screw, it does seem to fit it better than if the tips were say chrome plated. One other thing I wanna mention is that when you do close up this case, it does hold it very well. So there's it, there's no chance it can actually say fall out or the lock will be broken or anything. And it doesn't slide. So as you can see, because these pads, there's pads on top and on the bottom. It doesn't slide at, at all. If you're putting on a slippery surface, you don't have to worry about it sliding. You can probably even stack more of these kind of uh, filo cases on top, and I don't think they'll slide off each other. Now, going back to the actual set, it's a 14-piece set. That 14-piece set does include precision cap and the actual screwdriver handle. So there's three torques. There's one square. There's two Phillips. There's six slotted one precision cap and one precision handle it's covered by the 15 year warranty from philo if you're in north america that warranty is provided by boundhouse so that's their north american distributor so you can contact them the warranty is very good at least in my experience boundhouse and philo do make very good products this set is very well designed the fact that you can convert uh say an individual screwdriver say so something like the phillips one you can convert it to a precision screwdriver for applications where you don't need as much torque or you can convert to using the regular handle let me grab the regular handle and I'll show you and it sits very nicely there is some play but it's very unlikely it'll come out unless you push this and then really pull it out so a little bit of play otherwise not much to be concerned about and the handle you can use this as a T the actual hole in the handle, you can use this as a T-handle, or you can just use it to hang things up if you really need to. It's 
very well designed set this is probably this is probably my favorite all, all in all i'll definitely recommend this set here if you can get it on sale that's even better no real complaints about it high price when it's not on sale but i can understand it's a very quality product all these parts are made in germany all made in germany covered by a 15 year warranty high price when it's retail or regular i'd wait for a sale or at least check out maybe a sale from amazon or check out their warehouse deals they might have maybe these as well um, otherwise really good set probably if you really must have a uh, changeable screwdrivers sets this is probably one of the best sets the other good set that i'll recommend and that i'll be reviewing later is also the wera wera has uh, the slim versions in a pouch and then wera also has non-slim versions in a pouch as well i do like the pouch a little bit better because it's more compact but i can't complain with this set this is a very good set overall the only con i'd say is it's high price but that's made up for the very good quality i'd say still wait for any kind of sale or check warehouse deals or just track the prices so if you did enjoy this video please be sure to like and subscribe and please be sure to leave a comment down below thank you